Hello, this is Jenny Wilmshurst, and we're going to look at setting up a Twitter profile. Now, there are several things that you will need to get together before you actually start setting up the Twitter profile. One of them is a bio, which you will need 160 characters maximum for, a photo or a logo, and that should be 48 by 48 pixels. Now, that's an ideal size so that it will fit just right alongside all your tweets, for instance, here on Murray's um, profile, you'll see there's a, um, a thumbnail here. So 48 by 48 is just the right size for that. And it also fits quite nicely in this here. Uh, you'll also need uh, some links to other social media profiles, which you can um, do on the back end of Twitter. And you may also want to link up with your mobile phone. And the other thing that you will need is a Twitter background. Now, a Twitter background, here's an example with Murray Smith. She's got a, her photo here, something about the kind of um, business that she's running. She's a Facebook specialist, and here's a link that directs back to her Facebook page. Now, you'll notice that there is a bio here that she's written. It's got some information about um, things that are very pertinent to those people who would want to follow her. And typically, you'd include things that describe you, your business, and some of the things that you like. Um, you'll notice that there's a link here that directs back to her Facebook page. Now, some profiles also include two links, so that you get a double uh, whammy at getting some links and uh, back onto other social media channels. Some people might include their blog, and other people might also add in their Facebook page, for instance. Now, Murray's been in social media for about six years now, so she has quite a massive following. And when I first joined Twitter in 2008, she had about, I think it was around about 10,000, 20,000 back then. And around that time, there was a Twitter following software, which sort of would allow you to have no limits whatsoever of the amount of people that you could gather into your following. Um, there were no following limits per day, and now there are. So the software would massively increase the following count within about two to three weeks. So there were a lot of people who were actually using it to build their Twitter followings very rapidly. So um, let's have a look at some of the things that you can do once you've set up your Twitter profile. Now here's an example of a workaround for not having a, a professionally developed background. This is a product provided by Twilk. And you'll see all these um, images here of people who are followers of the Tweet Twins Twitter account here. So Twilk automatically pulls in whatever these profile avatars actually are. I'll show you another one as well. And here's an example of how a single graphic was loaded and it's created a background that just simply repeats itself. So it provides a really nice, simple way of displaying in the background. You, the very first thing that you're going to do is type in http colon forward slash forward slash twitter.com. And that will bring you to this page here. And to join, you'll simply fill in these details here. Now, it does lead you through the process quite logically, and so it's very simple to follow through. So what we're going to do is create a Twitter account. What you see here is the username, social media ROI, with my e email address and password, and I'm going to press sign up. It says that these are all exactly fine and I can go ahead and create my account. So this is the very first screen that I see explaining what a tweet is. To get to the next stage I'm going to press next and we need to start following some people. None of these people are they listening at the top particularly in my target market so I'm going to look for some others in the list that might be more suitable. And now I see a tool here called Reportive. And just for the sake of showing you this, I'll just pick some fairly random 
people within the list. John Key, our Prime Minister, may be suitable. Let's look for um, the uh, Shorty Awards I saw there. Where are they? Shorty Awards, their advertising awards. Cast is another tool that's worth looking at. Well, there are three. That's fine. Oh, it suggests that I follow another one. I'll follow Lance Wiggs. Now I need to go to the next stage. It wants me to try five more. <laughs> now my target market is that I want to help businesses to achieve a far better ROI on their social media. And I also want them to be able to measure it. So the kinds of information that I am going to be sending out would suit people who um, are wanting to be a lot more clever about their social media. Some people already have great followings, but they just want to be able to uh, understand exactly who they're targeting and how they're managing the social media. So the analytics is particularly important to them. So for instance, um, organizations like ESPN could be valuable. So. I'll follow them and NBA. I'll find another few um, entertainment folks. Uh, Tiger Woods would be an interesting one to follow to make sure he's doing a job well. Oh, no, that will do for the sports. Next, please. Oh, let's try Gmail and search for our followers. And we can access on Gmail. I won't be doing that right now. Uh, we can go through each of these and upload all of our contacts. So uh, let's assume that that's all totally sorted. And we're going to go to the next stage. So we'll access our, our Gmail account and see um, whether we can pull in some Twitter accounts. No, Twitter's over capacity. Can't do that today. Every now and then you'll still see this graphic. It's called the fail whale. It's when uh, Twitter has a down moment. Now because I do want to move on from this stage, I've scrolled down on the left hand side and I'm going to skip this step. And So what you can do is to find interesting stories to follow, have a look at what kind of activity there is uh, from amongst those people that you've followed. So for instance, uh, John Key has followed these particular people here. You can find your friends through the uh, tools that we were using before and you can also browse the categories that we were using before so you'll see it gives you just various options of, of um, different ways of finding ideal accounts. Now there are some more clever ways of actually finding exactly the right categories for you. And to, to find those categories and the followers you will actually be using entirely different tools. We won't be talking about that today. Now another thing that I do see at the very top here, and you can only see a portion of it on the screen, is that Twitter is telling me that they want me to confirm the email change. And um, right, now we're going to go to the right hand side of the screen to this here, and we're going to look at settings. And the reason why we're going to be looking here is that we need to um, revise some of the information that's here. We do need to let other people find us by our email address and that is very valuable if people are uh, in contact with us through other means. Perhaps we've met them socially or perhaps we've actually met them in, in Business Networking Live or in other networks online. So this way they can actually find us on Twitter as well. We need to make sure the time zone has changed to suit us where we actually live. So I'm going to select Wellington. We uh, may choose to add our location to our tweets. And that is good if you're wanting to come up in the, uh, in the statistical uh, things uh, that talk about how valuable your account is. And that becomes part of social proof. I don't tick these. Um, you don't protect your tweets because you want people to see them. And you need to use a secure connection where possible. And now we are going to ch save our changes. So I've typed in my password again, and now we're going to save the changes. 
our password is set, so we don't need to revisit that. Uh, today I'm not going to set up the mobile phone, but we are going to look at the notifications and double check those. So we can choose to have an email sent to us whenever anyone sends us a private message, we call that a direct message, um, or when anyone mentions us. Uh, those do tend to send you a lot of, of information through. So it's up to you whether you want a lot of information or just want to manage these from um, Twitter itself or maybe from a tool called a client that helps you to be more efficient with managing Twitter. Uh, I'm just going to keep this as a uh, uh, notification so that we, I can receive a direct message. Um, and whenever I'm following someone new um, and whenever my tweets are marked as favourites, those could be handy to actually have. Um, and I'm going to save the changes here as well. Now we're going to go into the profile settings and uh, this is where you do need to be uh, taking care of what's actually, actually happening. What you do here becomes the what people see of your profile. So what I'm going to do now is to find a graphic to put into this area here. And after we've loaded our graphic we can go down into the location. We're going to describe ourselves as being New Zealand. But it could be America, it could be the UK. Well, temporarily, what I'm going to put in here is an existing website here. And a bio. So I've created my brief bio. And we can also post our tweets to Facebook from here. So we'd click that if we choose to do that. This particular page um, is yet to set up its Facebook profile properly. But let's do that anyway. And as you can see, it wasn't particularly helpful because Facebook's having a problem. So now we're going to save our changes. And as it saved its changes, it's also uploaded the picture. Now let's go on to the design. This is where we will be able to select the background. So as you see, Twitter already has some backgrounds that you can use if you choose to. You can also upload your own. So this is uh, where you would do that especially if you've had a graphic designer or you've created your own version. You can add in your own coloured backgrounds if you know the colour keys that go with that and include some colours for the links on the side. And then you can save the changes. So, out of convenience, what we'll do is select our dollar sign background and create it as a tile background. So I'll find that in my system. So I've selected my background and I've chosen to tile it. We're going to save the changes and see what it looks like. So we saved the changes and then we clicked on view profile page. And this is what it looks like. It's a little bit busy, but it will serve its purpose for the meantime. Now, because we do want to go back to our settings, what we're going to go to do now is to go to the top right hand side and go to the drop down box here and go straight back to our settings. Let's go back into the design page and just check to see whether there's anything else that we need to take care of. No, that looks like it's fine. Now we can go into the application settings and we're going to learn about what kinds of applications that we can actually load into here. The two first suggestions are that we load our Seismic account or Boxcar. Some other people do prefer to use Hootsuite, but Seismic is very, very good. And I would recommend either Seismic or Hootsuite to load. Now what you see here on this same page on the left hand side are all the help files that you'll need for Twitter. Now what I'm going to do now is actually take you over to another page that has a number of applications set up on it, just so you can see the range of flexibility that you have. Now there are thousands and thousands of applications that you can use in Twitter. Uh, and they serve a variety of purposes. Here's just a rundown of some of them that have been used in a different account here, which I'm showing on screen. Twello is a version of a Yellow Pages for Twitter. Social Visiting Card is designed to allow you to access, sorry, not access the profiles, but to be able to see what kinds of profiles your connections actually have on other platforms of social media. Formulas helps you 
to develop lists on Twitter. Peer index is a um, a way of measuring your uh, worth of your account. Uh, you can also export your Twitter following and then use them for marketing purposes. Clout is also another tool that measures your worth. Uh, Twins is a community site. Uh, let's see where we go through here. Uh, you can share pictures through TwitPic. Uh, you can access information and pay with a tweet. Uh, Twitter has a business card system as well, Twit business card. You can invite to events using Twitvite or play audio as well. You can connect your Facebook and your Twitter account together. You can add in SlideShare and another great tool is TwitCleaner, uh, which we will explain a little bit later because you'll need that when you get a greater following. There's just a, a few of the many tools that you'll be able to use to maximize Twitter. Now there is a time when you're going to want a professional looking background for your Twitter account that really leverages and explains who you are from a branding perspective and a communications perspective. Now when you want that, uh, please do let me know because I can arrange for you to have one that looks particularly professional. So have fun with setting up your Twitter account and having a good play and we'll be able to answer some of your questions on this um, as you need us on our various social media sites.